go to blue. I think wall is super sweet. I'm very happy with wall. Oh, by the way, expeditions. Okay. Yeah, I think the wall is very good. You're impressed with how well it's managed to keep Ravine while checking chat. I might have to go get uh, water. I forget that these things uh, destroy my throat. Okay, on to blue. Let's start with obtruse interference. So it's four spike that puts a 1-1 one -one counter. Uh, sometimes you're just going to get blown out by this card. Um, you're just going to be completely blown out, and you're going to be like, well, here's hoping they don't have obtruse interference. And then they have it, and you're just like, ugh. Why me? Um, I don't think this card's particularly good. I think it's like really bad. So please don't play copies of it at limited. Play better cards. Speaking of better cards, Blinding Drone. It's a one. It's a two mana one three. So it already blocks every bear. Cough cough. Three toughness. Um, and has one colorless tap tap target creature. Now here, I'm going to start mentioning um, kind of like what I've seen from the colorless, like this colorless mana uh, I interaction with limited, right? Because you're not going to get that many colorless lands, right? Treat it, treat it like another color. Um, don't, tr don't think of it like colorless because you, you, you cannot tap any bait... Uh, basic lands like planes, forest, islands, whatever, to, to use this ability. So you really need colorless. And from what I see is a lot of the colorless or methods of getting colorless are from other creatures. Um, so if you have a way, like if you have uh, some consistent way, like you drafted enough wastes and you have a dedicated colorless deck, um, you you might be actually find yourself ta uh, drafting or tapping two creatures to tap one creature, which might be okay. I mean, I think this card, if, if you have a colorless source, this card is great. Um, that that therein, lies, therein lies the issue, is can you get a colorless source? There are a few, there are a few lands that you can pick up to make this card better. Um, and if you get pick up multiples, you might want to highly, highly uh, value those colorless lands. Um, but this is one of those cards that, if you go colorless, it's great. But treat colorless as another color. Um, but I, I'd probably play Blinding Drone. I think it's pretty sweet. Cultivator Drone. Here we go into what I was saying. So three mana, two power, three toughness. Oh. Uh, devoid, sure, whatever. Tap, add colorless, spend this mana only to cast a colorless spell, activate ability, or pay a cost. Um, so this is exactly the sort of ability you want if you're playing a good devoid deck like i see the blue red archetype is very well supported in this set as well this is basically a herald of kozilek yeah it's not a two four but it's at common and uh it also lets you use the ability for permanence so it's pretty it's pretty good um i think not every pack will have a waste it's not guaranteed uh, so I think Cultivator Drone, very good. If you're in the Devoid deck, it's just perfectly fine. I'm probably going to play it. Um, and it, it seems it seems completely completely reasonable, de de better than... Uh, better than... Uh, uh, I don't know where I was going. Okay, anyway. Now up to Deep Fathom Skulker. Six mana, four, four, so under-costed. But its ability is great. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, you may draw a card and make a creature unblockable. <sighs> um, so, this card's great. Uh, definitely a very powerful rare. Easily splashable. Um, even if you don't have easy ways to make a ton of colorless mana, it's still just a very powerful effect. But if you do have colorless mana, it's a 4-4 unblockable that draws you every card. Like It has to eat a removal spell. I think this card is great, and I'd probably play as many copies as I pick up. Onto Dimensional Infiltrator. Two mana, two one, f Flash Flyer Devoid. Don't care about the Devoid as much. So, two mana for a two one Flyer. Eh, it's actually pretty aggressive, though I'm not a huge... Like, I've never been a huge fan of the Welkin turns, uh, which is what this card is. 
with one colorless, they exit the top card of their library. If it's a land, you can bounce it. So you may get a blocker. You may get some exile effects for um, for processing. I think it's like okay. It's not. I'm not gonna like aggressively take dimensional infiltrator. Yeah, it has flash. I said flash flying devoid. Um, I think it's okay. Like it's it's very aggressively cost at flyer and can certainly punch in a few points of damage. Though it does it does not go well against opposing mist intruders so that's a thing but i think i think the card's like i mean if i'm in blue i'm probably gonna play it but i'm not gonna like aggressively like, windmill slam every time dimensional infiltrator there's, there's certainly some uncommons that are better gravity negator which has my one of my favorite arts in the set i love this art um four mana cough two power three toughness oh look at it show up again um it's two three flyer for four Okay, and when it attacks, you may pay colorless. If you do, another creature gains flying. This second ability can be great if you just have some sort of giant, like a 4-4. Like, nothing in the air can fight well with a 4-4. Uh, I think I'm certainly going to play a copy uh, if I have it. I don't think it's superb. I think it's just another very limited playable common. And uh, sometimes it's just going to win you games with the ability. So they just make a giant creature have flying, and then they just can't deal with it. So, I, I like Gravity Negator, and not just because I like the art. Prophet of Distortion. So, one mana, one, two. There's our Squire again. Devoid, sure. Four mana, draw a card. I think that this is probably going to be better in Seal than it will in Limited. I don't think that the, uh, the BFC Oath Limited format is going to be super fast, nor is it going to be super slow. I think, it, I think it's going to be... From, from what I see, the pacing of adding Oath to bfz is going to keep keep it pretty similar might slow it down a little bit but the ability can be very powerful in a slower game and uh i'd probably play a copy uh i think i think if you're able to draw a card like four mana draw a card is expensive but sometimes you just need a mana sink like sometimes late in the game um you uh you just draw this card and you're like play it draw two cards great uh, Dostal, yes, you do have to draft wastes. They're like snowlands in Ice Age block or Cold Snap or whatever. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, rate the speed. 1 fast, 10 slow. I think it's going to be 4. 3 or 4. Like with 1 being original Zendikar, uh, 2 being Gate Crash. I think this is going to be a f between 4, like 4.5. Eh, no, actually, it's gonna be a little bit. So it might be like five, five point five. It's in that. It's in that center range because you're still casting giant Eldrazi, but this set is has has fewer of them. Uh, slip through space, one mana. Target creature can't be blocked. Draw a card. This is gonna have popper implications. Um, sometimes this card will just win you games. I'm not a fan of slip through space. At least it cycles for one blue, so it's not the end of the world. That sometimes, um, sometimes you uh, sometimes you just need a draw card. So, at worst, it cycles, which is, means it's not terrible. It's still pretty bad, though. Uh, Thought Harvester, two power, three plus toughness. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Um, so, it's a four mana, two, four flyer. Great. That, I, I like that rate, to be 100%. Plus. I prefer a four mana, three, three flyer, but still okay. And whenever you cast a color to spell, target player exiles. So, this is exactly the type of card you want in processor decks. Um, Efficient for a flyer, it blocks everything in the air very well, and uh, certainly something that I'm probably going to play uh, if I end up in, in, in blue blue X to void decks. This is exactly the type of thing that I'd want to play. Void Shatter is cancel. I don't care about this other ability. It's cancel. I like cancel more in limited than I do, or in sealed than I do in draft, but as some people have already seen from the power of... Um, the three mana counter target spell unless they pay four the effect is pretty powerful i think that void chatter is okay don't play like 12 bajillion copies of it in your deck like counter spells aren't as great in limited as they are in constructed but certainly certainly uh cancel with a little bit of an upside is certainly limited playable ancient crab three mana one three one five it blocks everything 
play it if you really desperately need a ground blocker because you're a really slow deck. Um, that's all I'm going to say about Ancient Crab. If it's not Heatron Crab. Ruined. A comparative analysis, so it is either a uh, four mana inspiration. Hey, wait, ins inspiration costs four mana. What a twist. So it's inspiration or surge divination at instant speed. Um, it's fine. It's not, not the end of the world. But uh, if you need a draw spell, like it, it fits a curve. It's, it's exactly where it should be for limited. If you just need a draw spell, you may not like. Sometimes it's just you're just gonna cast Inspiration, and you're gonna be like, okay, end of turn, draw two cards. It's fine. Not 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 terrible. Not great. Just a night a good filler card. So, Containment Membrane. So it's either three mana, Enchanted Creature doesn't untap, or Surge for one blue. So this Narcolepsy, this isn't because it doesn't tap the creature already. However, it's still uh, pretty playable. Um, very bad against Vigilance creatures. Sometimes you you like play a spell and then have a, a one mana containment membrane and it's gonna be great. Um, I think it's gonna be like very playable. Unfortunately, again, the creature, they're gonna get one one attack in. Is it, does that make it bad? Not really. Um, does it make it fantastic? No, I think it's, I think it's fine. It's just okay. If it tapped the creature, I would like plus this. I go whoop and ra raise it um, because the ability of tapping the creature and making it not untap is far more powerful than than just giving it this ability. So uh, tentacle hentai monster, I mean crush of tentacles, is uh, amazing card is so good for limited um so it is evacuation for one one more than evacuation cost or surge it's evacuation and you get an 8 8 octopus and then they just can't win like then this card is absurd it's so good for limited um definitely a card i will very 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 highly take and then you there has to be there there has to be something you have to say. Oh <laughs> Dostal got timed out. Please. I hope it was just a purge. Whoever banned him. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. But yeah, please don't use the word rape in my in my stream. Thank you. Um that's why that's why you got the timeout. I assume. Uh cards bonkers. On to Cyclone Sire. Five mana, three, four, flyer. Thank you, Squirrel Loot. Five mana, three, four, flyer. So, as I said, I like my five mana, three, three flyers with upside. And this is a five mana, three, four flyer with upside. Because uh, when it dies, you awaken three. That's that's fine. Um, I mean, maybe it's a little bit... I think it's actually a little bit better than fine. Certainly... You don't want to play too many of them because it costs five, but uh, five mana, three, four flyer, that gives you Awaken three is a very powerful effect. Certainly a card I'm going to play. So uh, this is not Pongify and not the other one, but it ter it loses all abilities. Every card have higher toughness and power. There's a lot of them actually. Um, there's a lot of high toughness creatures in this set. They got big butts and they cannot lie. Other brothers can't deny that this set has higher toughness. Anyway, uh, Gift of Tusks is uh, not a card that I'm like super impressed by. Like I didn't like playing Pongify before. It was okay. Um, this card, Rapid Hybridization, thank you very much. Because it made frog lizards. But this doesn't destroy the creature. It just turns it into an elephant until end of turn. So you need to have an answer to it. So if they can protect their creature, they get it back. Like, you cast this on an 8-8, eight eight, and then they protect their creature, you're just blown out. This card is worse than worse than the other ones. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. Grip of the Royal. So it's 3 mana, tap a creature, doesn't untap, draw a card. 
thank god it's an instant or surge one in a colorless one in a colorless one in a blue uh, i normally like these sort of effects um, the fact that it draws you a card is pretty big um it's it's much bigger than if it didn't i think it's just a very very fine uncommon great great tempo play and the fact that it recoups itself can really uh really be a reward i think this card is a great great uncommon <sighs> please i don't care how many hedron alignments you get in your deck please do not play hedron alignment in your deck moving on Dwar isle avenger five mana three three flyer great its upside is surge three mana three three flyer Ooh. you have to have a dedicated surge deck which means you need to find you have to you have to really have enough cheap spells to make this worth it um like in two at a giant this card is pretty solid because two at a giant right they can play a spell and then you get a three mana a three three flyer which is very very efficient for what it, what it's worth but if you yourself are playing your spell like you need to play a one or two mana spell to get anywhere near amount of value i think for it to be okay i'm not a huge fan of dwar isle avenger i would probably play a copy if i just need a flyer but a three three flyer just doesn't i mean yeah it beats all the two threes at least but there's a number of two fours i'm i'm not i'm not a fan of dwar isle avenger negate is negate please leave it in the sideboard bring it in if you need it ah oath of jace so you play oath of jace you draw three cards discard two cards is that effect worth three mana in my opinion no it's not at the beginning of your upkeep scry x where x is the number of planeswalkers you control well, I don't expect you to be getting many Planeswalkers in Limited, and if you are, they're probably going to win you the game by themselves. Oath of Jace is, like, playable but bad. So I would not I would not advise anyone to actively go out and play Oath of Jace. Overwhelming Denial. Dismiss. This isn't. Four mana Counterspell is a little bit worse. Yeah, it's got Surge Blue Blue, which sometimes you just you just get to cast counter, an uncounterable Counterspell. That's awesome. But, uh, Scry Zero, not, a, not good enough for me, exactly. Uh, Overwhelmed Denial is, it's okay, it's playable. Four mana Counterspell is a lot worse than a three mana Counterspell. And you're not going to get the Surge a lot, I don't think, because you're going to have to cast a spell and then cast Overwhelming Denial, so you need to get value from it. It's certainly a card that, again, the focus is limited. Um, Overwhelming Denial is fine. Uh, I didn't say I'd always play divination. This is this is draw three, discard two, so it's not it's not divination. It's net net card advantage, draw one, card plus card quality. Um, but I think overwhelming denial is fine. So I'm not gonna say it's bad, but I'm not gonna say it's terrible. Compulsive, yeah, it's a compulsive at sorcery, yeah, but uh, it's not even better because compulsive research you discard a land. Not discard two lands. It's not even better. I don't think Oath of Jace is good. Um, it's a counter spell when countering counter spells. No, because this is when you cast a spell, not if they cast a spell as well. Oh, it's counter. Yeah, it's counter spell when countering counter spell. Sure, yeah, I get it now. Okay. Anyway, uh, Rolling Waters. So this effect is incredibly powerful. Like seven mana, double unsummon, draw two cards. Now the question is. Is double unsummon draw two cards worth seven mana? Like, I was a huge fan of um, the spell from Theros that bounced three creatures and scryed one. So, another question is is bouncing two creatures and drawing two cards worth it? I think this card might be okay. I think seven mana is, is a little hard. Um, if this was six, I would say this card is insane. At seven mana, it's getting to the point where I have to kind of see where the format's at. My gut tells me that this sort of effect is probably pretty powerful. Um, but I need to play it. I need to play it out a little bit. Yes, churning eddy plus divination. 
because um, it get like exactly what you want if you're drawing two cards is you want to be able to clear up the board a little bit. Um, I think Rolling Waters is is certainly my again my gut tells me that it's going to be good. Um, I need to see the format, right? Because if it's in a format where you're dead on turn five, or turn or so far behind on turn six, you never get to cast this, then it's kind of bad. Sphinx of the Final Word, seven mana, five five flyer, can't be countered. Flying hexproof, instant sorcery spells can't be countered. Basically, it's a seven mana, five five flying with hexproof. Good luck, opponent, trying to kill this. Good luck. If you ever resolve a Sphinx. Your opponent has to have an Eldrazi. Now, this is a format where Eldrazi do kind of maybe possibly exist, I think. Um, so that's a downside, but a 5-5 a five, five flyer that they can't target with a removal spell is pretty huge. The second ability is less, less relevant because there's only a few counter spells in the set. Um, sometimes it's going gonna, it's gonna, you know, to be relevant and then your opponent's going to be sad, but Sphinx is uh again if you get to seven mana and your opponent doesn't have an eldrazi it's great sweep away three mana return a creature to its owner's hand but if the creature is attacking you may put it on top of its owner's library that second clause right there just made me so happy that effect like i am a huge fan of uh putting creatures on top of owner of of libraries and you can like set up a position where they attack you block they use a combat trick and then you sweep away and the tempo there is huge um of course that is the best case scenario which is sometimes you don't want to get you know disillusioned by that but this is a card like the three mana unsummon that's eh, kind of bad but uh, an instant speed an instant speed time ebb is pretty good. So now it's the question of, you know, will there be enough creatures attacking to be able to get a sort an instant speed time ebb? And I think yeah. I think this card can 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 be a total blowout. I'm not gonna play like eight copies or anything like that. Um, but it's certainly an effect that's pretty powerful. Umara Entangler? basically a bear with upside. The fact that it's one toughness is kind of sad, but I expect this card to trade with a lot of the two threes that are running around. Um, it's fine. It's, it's a bear. It's, I count it as a bear with upside. It's a bear with prowess. Prowess, as we've seen since Khan's block, is a pretty powerful mechanic. So I think this card's completely playable. It's fine. Not great. Not terrible. But uh, certainly just a fine, fine creature. Thank you. Whisk away. That's what we're looking for. And now, unity of purpose. God, I don't like this card. Good night, Squirrel Loot. Um, four mana, support to untap each creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. I think even in like the dedicated plus one, plus one counter deck... This card is just bad. I'm just going to say it's bad and move on. I think you can make the argument. It's like, oh, what if you have the nut deck? And I'm going to be like, uh, play better cards.